their support is equal to disgrace and defeat. Man mocked Tony Fanikayori and Unamikano amid Trump's ordeal. The ongoing United States of America's election is breeding discussion around the world. No doubt, this is because prior to the election, a lot of people across the globe have their preferred candidates among two presidential contenders in the states. So, as the reality of whom to likely win the election stare on the faces, several mocks and tribulation would definitely come up and erupt, beginning to envelop among citizens of many countries. It is jubilation works when your preferred candidate is Joe Biden, who is leading now. Equally, you will be heavily mocked by others if you are supporting Trump, who is losing now. These mixed feelings are the same in the minds of Nigerians who are interested in the American election. In the Nigerian, for instance, the chieftain of the Nigerian People Democratic Party, PDP, Femi Fanekaudi, FKK, and the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Namikanu, were in full support of President Donald Trump before the election was held three days ago. So now that their preferred candidate is losing the election, is his opponents. Many people are mocking them. Not too long ago, a Twitter user known as Chigozirum took to his Twitter handle where he mocked the two critics of President Muhammad Buhari, according to Chigozirum in his tweet. The two persons are usually associated to loss in competition. He stated that anyone who do not want to record disgraceful defeat in his or her competition should not allow the two to support him, her in anything they do in their lives. Although Chigozirum did not mention the US election in the street, but anyone who is wise enough can easily guess what he was saying in the tweet. It should be recalled that Femi Fani Kayode and Nandi Kanu gave their full support to Atiku Abubakar in the last general election held in Nigeria. The election which had President Buhari and Atiku as the major contender favored Buhari at the expense of Atiku Abubakar who was the anointed candidate of Femi Fani Kayode. Namdekanu did not campaign for Atiku in the election, but urges his teaming supporters in the southeast to vote for him. This may have formed the reason why Chigozero mocked them in that manner. Thank you for listening to this news. There is no need for that. What's the need for mocking? There is no need for that. It is normal. In every election, it is a normal thing. There will definitely be a winner. But mm. why are they why are they mocking them? What effect is that going to have on them if Trump loses? What effect? So what's the need? of mocking them if it's not going to have any negative effects on them. My viewers, I will tell you that Nambikano and Femi Fanekao they know why they threw their support on Trump. And I for for one as well for for the for for, for some reasons I still throw my support for Donald Trump. You see my viewers in life, mm -hmm. one should not forget the ants 
that fed him in the past. Even if the hand has decided to, to, to be changing, at least appreciate that hand for once, for what that hand has done for you in the past. You and I know how Donald Trump has been useful to Nigeria in the past. Donald Trump has been supportive to Nigerian in the area of security. Let's forget the fact that Nigeria is still so much under attack and exposed to insecurity. Donald Trump at least played a very positive role. I can remember vividly most of the times that Nigerian were attacked. And how Namikano runs to the ICC, International Criminal Court, to raise an alarm and ask for support. I tell you, the moment Donald Trump gets to know about it, it never asks too many questions. It quickly releases his support. You understand? Is it not through the support of Donald Trump that the former mili militant leader was killed? I know why Nigerians, some Nigerians are against Donald Trump because of his new decision on Nigerians that base abroad. Why won't he? Why won't he bounce on them? Why won't he decide on them? He will because the Nigerians in abroad are no longer giving themselves an, an, any single atom of respect. They are not. They have forgotten that they are in US through naturalization. And US is not their fatherland, neither is it their motherland. So therefore, they don't have any right to do anything how or anything that they like. I, for one, I will tell you that I am totally pissed off and totally against what our Nigerians are doing to the Americans in abroad. Our Nigerians have not been sincere. Our Nigerians have not been straightforward. Our Nigerians have been deceitful to Americans. Is it only Nigeria? Is it only Nigerian that is the only African country in abroad? Why is it that only Nigerians will be caught on fraudulent acts in abroad? Why is it that only Nigerians are seen as the fraudsters, kidnappers, cocaine pushers in abroad? Murderers in abroad. Why? Why? Why wouldn't they raise alarm? Why would they get offended? Why would they get angry? They will because we have made a mess of the opportunity given to us. We have messed the opportunity given to us. We have fucked the opportunity given to us up. So the people need to be offended. If possible, they can deport everyone back to his country. I don't know. Why? Why? Even your own country, Nigeria, that has given them a free entry and free exit, they have not come to this country and behave the way you are behaving in abroad. I can never be a supporter of, of injustice and lies. Huh? So, all these things that Donald Trump saw in Nigerians are what made him to get offended and decided that he is going to repatriate every Nigerian the moment he ascends power again. So Nigerians are now trying to do everything humanly possible to see to the um, to the remover of Donald Trump. My dear, Nigerians are not God. They are not God and they cannot decide for the people.